Benvenuti amici. Welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina and I am Chef Isabella and I am so excited to tell you about our wonderful recipe. Today you are going to learn how to make a fresh tomato sauce made with fresh tomatoes. Imagine that. Yes, I'm going to get you out of the can and I want you to use these beautiful vine ripe tomatoes. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take them and we're going to, let me move this out of the way just a little. And all I want you to do is to, to just quarter them, put them right in the food processor. Now I got to tell you, if you don't have a food processor, it's really no big deal. All you need to do is get a really sharp knife and um, cut away. I got to tell you, the most dangerous thing in a kitchen is a dull knife. And if you notice, all I'm doing is cutting the core, just chopping it off. And you see this will take little or no time at all. Now, I like them in the food processor because I don't like a lot of big chunks in mine. But if you like a very chunky tomato sauce, by all means, don't use that food processor at all. You're going to find that when you make a fresh tomato sauce, you totally raise the bar on anything you could possibly do with any recipe. There's nothing healthier for you. The antioxidants, the lycopene, as the Italians all say, all right, that the red tomato, the ripe tomato, there's nothing better. Of course, if you like a glass of vino, go ahead and add that too. All right, you can see I'm almost done. I've got about two and a half pounds here. And if you notice, I've got this beautiful um, basilico. As a matter of fact, don't forget that on each of my segments, I'm going to teach you how to speak Italian. So why don't I start from the top? All right, tomatoes are called pomodoro. Yes, pomodoro. And I know by the time you're through watching all of my segments, you are definitely going to learn how to say these words. All right, I'm almost done. Let's get this. Not pureed, but I'm going to chunk it. Move this out of the way a little bit. Let's try. I like that. OK, we're going to move this out of the way here. You, what you want to do with the fresh tomato sauce is to make sure that all of your ingredients are ready to go. So I'm going to actually chop a piece of garlic. Actually, I want four cloves of garlic in here. Watch those fingers. And then we're going to take it right to the pan momentarily. As a matter of fact, let me turn that pan on. And I want to get a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, about a half a cup as a matter of fact. While that's warming up, I'm going to continue. And I'm just going to chop this fresh garlic, move it aside. And of course, you want a good handful of fresh basil. OK, it's basilico in italiano. Basilico, yes. Got lots of fresh basil, and all you want to do is I kind of just put it in my hand just like that. And if you notice, it's a no-brainer. You're just going to chop it. And I love fresh herbs, so as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too much. Okay, I'm going to take this right now. If you follow me, we're going to go right to the pan. While that is getting a little golden color, we're going to take everything over to the stove. Come on down. So you can see I've got these beautiful pieces of lalio garlic in this pan. Oh, if you could only smell it at this very moment. Let me tell you, the Italians at this moment saute it, put a little bit of pasta on the boil, and actually put a little anchovies in here. Now you got a whole new dish. So what we're doing is, in the olive oil, I've got the garlic. I'm also going to put some crushed red pepper, because we love our crushed red pepper. Now, this is almost at the color that it needs to be. You want it a little golden. 
kind of turn that up just a little. But you want to be very careful. At this point, never ever leave the stove. It takes one minute to burn your garlic. You know, if it's burned, you got to start all over again. And this is too good to let anything happen to it at this point because you're almost done. Watch and see what happens. Oh, this is looking absolutely beautiful. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to take these beautiful pieces of fresh tomato and put them right in here. Kind of stir it up. And notice if you have a couple of big pieces, leave it alone. Don't worry about it. We're going to put this on high. We're going to let it come to a boil. And then we're going to lower it and simmer it. Now, one of the things that we have to remember always when you're cooking, you want to always season as you go. Every time you add a different ingredient, you've changed the layers and the flavors of whatever it is you're cooking. So here we go. I love kosher salt, and it's the only thing I cook with. So we're going to season that up. We're going to leave it alone. You're going to give it about 10 minutes. And shortly, you're going to see this beautiful fresh tomato sauce that you can do so many different things with. Now I want you to see how quickly, all right, this fresh tomato sauce has been made. Going to need a spoon here to stir. As you can see, I'm going to throw in the beautiful basilico. Now what is it again? Basil, of course. Here we go. <laughs> Throw that fresh basil in. Oh, it's amazing. Going to get a spoon. And of course, I never serve anything until I taste it first. It's hot. Be careful. Mmm. It is so fresh. The herbs are so fresh. When you put this on a plate of pasta, when you put it on a piece of fish, if you just take a good old piece of ciabatta bread and dunk it in the pot like we do at home, you're going to love it. With that said, we'll see you again next time, amici. Vivere bene, amici. Live well, my friends. Ciao.